All right, I am still in my pajamas at camp. I'm getting ready to change, but I need to shower myself. So I'm gonna do my normal scrubs shower routine. But look at this. I cannot wait another day for a hair wash. And I'm in a primitive campground with no showers, no flush toilets. Not that I would use that for my hair, but <laughs> anyways. So I have no options other than washing my hair inside my minivan or at my campsite. That's what we're gonna do today. And I'm also gonna take you on a tour of my bathroom in a box when I am in my mobile condo, AKA my minivan camper Tara, which is a 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan. Since she's a no build, I have no plumbing, no electricity. I don't even have solar, um, no running water, nothing. This is bare bones, but I like to go off grid. I like to be gone for days at a time, so I need a bathroom backup solution when I don't have other options, and I'm gonna show you what I do for that um, exact occasion. So I'm gonna take you, like I said, on a tour of my bathroom, and then we are gonna wash this hair inside my minivan. So stick around, and let's see how this goes. <laughs> Before we go any further, I am going to show you around my little bathroom. I don't know why I said this. It's just inside of one little spot, but I'm going to show you my bathroom and toilet and shower setup. <laughs> and then I'm going to wash this. So this is typically the setup that I have when I'm inside my space. As you can see, I always like to keep a spare thing of wipes here for um, easy, quick emergency access, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And I normally do keep this here for ease of use when I'm charging, um, like when I'm boiling my water first thing in the morning, things like that. So when I know I may need to use the bathroom at night, I'll pre-set up. I'll just move this out of the way and pull this out or swap them. For now, I've just moved it out of the way so you can see. All I do is just pull it right out. It's a little scuffed up because I used, have had it for several years now. Um, but as you can see, it's just, it just looks like a normal, regular old storage ottoman. And then when you take the lid off, which everything collapses into, by the way, I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, it's a nice little padded seat. I'm sorry this toilet is currently unavailable. It's been unavailable for like a year now, so I don't know if it's permanently discontinued. I keep looking, so I don't have a link for it. Um, but I will try to find something comparable if I can and link that below. So anyways, it's very comfortable to sit on. And again, you can see that just goes right inside the lid. And then this is kind of my essentials bag, which we'll go through. And then I keep spare cedar shavings. This is actually from when my kids were babies. It's a little diaper pad that folds up. And as you can see, it's quite large. So I actually use it the way you would a puppy pad now. I'll lay it out on the floor at night before I go number one and um, put a towel over top of it. That way, if I do have any accidents or spills or issues, it'll just absorb onto the towel and stay here and not soak into my actual floor. And you can see it just folds right on back up, which is more challenging one-handed, of course. I always keep a couple of spare microfiber cloths. I do actually have some coffee grounds that I spilled in the van, and so when I swept them up, I just kind of dumped them in here because I figured coffee grounds would be a good deodorizer and moisture absorber just in case. And then I have these biodegradable, heavy-duty, compostable trash bags for disposing of number two waste of the coffee grounds in here I'm not going to take out the bottom but if I did want to collapse it I would just remove this bottom part and then it all folds in just like any collapsible storage ottoman and I can just place it right in there so that it basically stores the width of this um, but I normally just keep it as a storage ottoman because I like having it for the extra surface space and an extra seat when needed 
All right, now for the meat and potato. Okay, that was a really bad analogy to use for bathroom related stuff. So we're just gonna forget I said that. Now for the main part of my bathroom storage. This is how I take showers inside my minivan. Um, it's the same thing they use in hospitals and nursing homes and things like that uh, for hospice care. Basically like if you need to do um, bathing in bed, see, baby care, elder care, travel. Um, you can do everything without water. You just have to kind of get a teeny bit of water on your um, washcloth that comes in here. And um, it does all of the lathering, sudsing, and then you just toss it when you're done. And no rinsing. That's what I meant by no water. You don't have to rinse off. You don't. You just really need a few drops. So it only takes probably like an ounce. I don't know. I just normally put a little bit on there, just enough to get it wet and start lathering. This is something new we're going to be trying at camp today, where you can actually wash your hair. You clean, soften, and soothe. It comes with the shampoo, conditioner, everything, and you don't need water at all. You literally just put the shower cap on, lather it up, and then supposedly you have clean hair. So we're going to give this a try and see if I can also wash my hair in addition to showering inside my minivan. These are just little individual packets of like poo powder type thing, which um, anything that is liquid, so you could use it for like vomit and stuff traveling as well, like if somebody got car sick, um, but it's for mainly number one. So if you have to pee and you want to solidify it and throw it away like you would a diaper, you can just put this in the container and then toss it that way, or if you have like a bag or something like that. Um, and then it'll turn it into like a gel like solid so that you can tie it off and throw it away like you would with dog waste. No explanation needed. Wipes. I do carry those instead of toilet paper because I don't need a lot and it's smaller and easier to bring and I just feel fresher afterwards. Um, these for washing my hands when I need to inside since I don't have running water. These are another backup option I use. These are disposable urinals. I've shown these on my channel before. I'm going to link my actual toilet video below where I demonstrate. Don't worry, not for real, but where I demonstrate how they work. I have a pea cloth that I also use in lieu of toilet paper. And I have that clipped to my reusable female urinal, which, use your imagination, it comes with a little stopper so that there's no spills if it tips, make sure you remove that before using it, <laughs> and then, you know, you feel like Buzz Lightyear, woohoo, to infinity and beyond. <clears throat> and then I have these are just um, extra little... Oh my gosh, my mind is going blank on their appropriate name, but for, you know, if you get car sick or need to throw up, these are ones I got at the hospital a long time ago and just decided to keep a few on hand for just in case emergencies. Um, you could use this as a disposable urinal in an emergency if you felt car sick or were just sick while traveling, um, you know, that kind of thing. And that's it. We're done with the tour. Now let's get to hair washing. All right. Let's give this a try. So, I saw these on the YouTube channel Bunny Plays Here, and I thought that it was brilliant. And they have great reviews on Amazon. They're called Drench. No water needed. You just put the cap on, lather it up, and squish it around for three minutes. And then it says if you have long hair, when you take, like as you're taking it out, you're supposed to kind of work this part through on the way out to make sure that you get everything um, and then you just toss it so obviously it's not an economical choice or an environmentally friendly choice for all the time but if you're off-grid and you have long hair like me especially and you just really need a wash like look how greasy this is I mean dry shampoo is not gonna cut it <laughs> So I really think that they're a good option, um, at least in theory. I've heard that they do not dry out your scalp or your hair or leave it feeling oily or greasy or anything, um, and that it's still soft and easy to comb through. So 
we are going to test it out because if it works on this, then it's definitely something to keep in the kit for backup. So let's see if I can wash my hair in my minivan without making a mess. All right, let's do it. Moment of truth. It feels like a wet diaper. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm gonna twist my hair. Not too much because I need to be able to wash it, but I gotta also be able to get it all in there. So let's see. I'll just do super loose. Hopefully that'll work. And let's see if I can do this. I should take my glasses off, hold please. Okay, I should have smelled it first to make sure that it wasn't super unpleasant, but it's not. It has a nice, it's not um, overpowering. It's got like a nice fresh kind of smell. All right, make sure I've got everything in there. I don't want to wash my ears. This feels so weird. I can definitely feel it sudsing up. So I'm just kind of massaging my scalp. And it's been about three minutes, so I think. All right, <laughs> moment of truth. Oops, let me not flash everybody here. <laughs> All right, and then it says when you're taking it out, if you have long hair, to kind of work it through really well as you're taking it out. I really like the way it smells. It's a nice fresh scent. All right, there you go. It still kind of feels like a wet diaper, but it's definitely lighter and you can tell that there's not like the same shampoo and soap and like the amount in there, it's not as much, so. All right. Definitely not sticky. It doesn't feel as wet as I thought it would. It feels really soft though, but not greasy or oily. So let me go ahead and comb through this and I'll BRB. But first, let's put some clothes on so we're not just out and about at the campsite. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, I am the only one here at the moment, but now would not be a good time for someone to roll up. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I really feel like I just washed my hair. Like it legit feels like I just took a shower and washed my hair. It's a whole other level of showering at the campsite. You know, normally I feel fresh and clean after I use those scrubs wipes, but my hair, you know, it's, it's not the same. You don't feel like you've really showered even though you feel clean and you don't stink. I really feel like I just took a shower inside my van. This is awesome. <laughs> I am so tickled right now. You guys, I just showered and washed my hair sitting at camp out in the middle of nature, looking at the trees, watching the birds over here. So cool. I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> All right. Tangle free. It is wet, but it's not like soaked.
I probably would put like just a little bit of leave-in conditioner just because I feel like the ends, I don't know, I just feel like it might be frizzy when it dries, but I'm not basing that on anything except my hair. Um, but yeah, it feels really good. It feels nice and clean and soft. Maybe I'll just braid it for now. Really impressed with how soft it is. Look at that. Okay, Drench, I see you. All right, I normally keep my shower bag in the front seat when I am at camp and I do not plan on needing my front seat. This is something fun that I'm going to be trying out at camp, so stay tuned. Or I may have already posted it, I'm not sure which, but that's going to be a fun little experiment. <clears throat> and then in the other side, I keep my shower shoes. Always make sure you have shower shoes. I store them in, you know, with the bottoms down so that they're not touching anything. You can also keep them in a shower cap or a plastic bag. Nothing in there at the moment, but in here is just my toiletries bag, which I've shown you guys before, a spare towel, my shower dress, anything I'll need for a shower. I keep a bathing suit, um, you know, just that kind of stuff in here. This is my running water system when I'm at camp. It's just this rechargeable USB sink pump that I've shown before on top of a three gallon jug that I refill. I do have a collapsible sink that I can use underneath it if I need to wash my face, wash my hands, anything like that, but I'll show you what I normally use to wash my hands. These nifty little things are paper soap sheets. You can easily fit it into your pocket, your purse, your fanny pack, your car somewhere, wherever, and then let me show you how they work. You just slide it open. Take out one thin little sheet, close it back up, Right, I made the decision that we're just gonna let it dry natural but I am gonna put on some deodorant for my final <laughs> getting clean step here and I do want to thank you guys so much for watching it really means a lot to me I hope you found this video entertaining helpful informative um, you know and, and a lot of you guys ask me what I do about the bathroom when I'm in here so I wanted to kind of show a dedicated video of just that. I mean, not of me, you, you get it, not me going to the bathroom, but how I <laughs> use this space for that purpose. So as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. If you did like it, you know, you wanna let me know and let the algorithm know so that it gets out to more people because this needs to get out, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks again, and I will see you on the next adventure. Until then, ta-da!